As the farmers perfect their skills and venison, velvet and byproduct prices rise, new tools are being developed to hunt the deer in his last refuge. Originally forest animals, the deer have turned full circle. They were forced into the open as the forests of Britain disappeared. Now the helicopters have chased them back into the band of heavy bush between the open tops and the valley floor. Helicopter operators like Tim Wallace have had to plough farming profits back into refining live capture systems. As the stakes get higher, the technology of capture has become more sophisticated. This is uh, a Hughes 500C, which we standardise on for our deer capture operations. And uh, we're, we operate 10 of these, and most of them are fitted out in this configuration, other than the uh, second method of capture I will talk about, which will be the electrics. And uh, we, have now, we are now looking at superseding that with a net capture system. But one which is uh, excellent and we find uh, we will be using for quite some time is the transmitter-dart combination of capture. The drug dart is manufactured in New Zealand and uh, we've standardised on this uh, type of dart because it's uh, plastic disposable and uh, we're able to see uh, what's happening inside and the reliability is very good. We couple this in with a, with a transmitter, little radio transmitter and uh, fit it up here for a dual firing roll. The dart and the transmitter are both fired by a a uh, modified uh, 22 blank gas operated rifle that fires a double barrel. The uh, transmitter and the uh, dart are muzzle loaded and we have Clip on barrels, ready all the time. If we come across three deer, we just clip three barrels in sequence and fire. If one of the transmitters falls out or fails, or one of the drug darts falls out or fails, we put an extra one in with a single barrel. Once the transmitter dart and drug have been located into the animal, they, we leave for 15 minutes for the drug to take effect and uh, come back with a helicopter and coupled in with this very sensitive receiver, we pick up the signal and uh, with the very directional aerial, we can pinpoint the animal to, a, to within a few, few feet of where he is. The use of the transmitter dart has cut the death rate during capture to about 4%. It allows the helicopter to hang back instead of hovering over the fleeing animal while the drug takes effect. The deer can seek the safety of the bush and quietly go to sleep. But knowing where the deer has fled to is only part of the problem. Now the hunters have to get it out. With no place to land, there is only one way down.
relationship between catcher and pilot is based on complete mutual trust. In many of the situations they face together every day, a wrong move by either could spell disaster for both. If the animal uh, is in very thick bush and the uh, shooter has trouble locating on the ground, then he plugs in this uh, handheld.